Hi, everybody. This is Parents B. Eichler, Straight Talk American News. We've all heard the phrase, birds of a feather flock together. Well, never has that concept been more apparent than on Ura's recent men's retreat at its beautiful Zone Resort and Camp in Stamford, New York, where over 250 people, mentors and Torah mates, gathered together for several days of inspiration to be inspired and to inspire others. And indeed, it was inspiring. People from all over the country came. Some had heard about it on billboards. Some had heard about it through their Torah mates. But this Lakewood-based organization, which has a reach across these great United States and beyond, was truly remarkable to participate in. As mentors and as participants who were there to learn, to teach, and to learn from those who we taught, everybody walked away with something extraordinary. It was a panoply of diversity. Strimals, black hats, no hats, straw hats. And in that diversity was a tapestry of unity. And when I said birds of a feather flock together, interesting that somebody should have pointed out that there was a bald eagle sitting high atop a roost on a tree on the beautiful lake on the Zone campus. And as we looked at the bald eagle, who then majestically spread its wings and flew across the campus. It was really remarkable to think about the symbolism of that. Well, not only was it Independence Day and the, the eagle being the symbol of American freedom, but it was a lot more than that. Because the eagle, as we know, is an endangered species. I couldn't help but thinking of a story that I heard about a fellow that was out in the woods and he saw a bald eagle. And he decided that he was going to shoot it down, fell down, feathered it, and then cooked it up and had himself a meal. Well, a forest ranger jumps out and says, Sir, that's an endangered species that you just shot. I have to take you in. He stood before the judge who said, Why did you ever do such a thing? I have to give you a heavy fine unless you have a good explanation. So he said, Your Honor, I'm sorry. I never did anything like that before, really. And I was so hungry. I, I apologize. I'll never do it again. I never did anything like that before. So the judge says, Okay, extenuating circumstances, case dismissed. But tell me, what does a bald eagle taste like? So the fellow says, well, I don't know, something like between a whooping crane and a dodo bird, both of which are extinct species. I thought it was interesting because the person realizes that there are those who would do everything that they could to preserve those species which are endangered, bald eagles or dolphins. But what can we say about a group like Aura that helps to preserve and promote and do everything that they can to make the Jewish people thrive as they did at this experience at the zone. Indeed, perhaps the Environmental Protection Agency might want to give them an award for preserving and helping to perpetuate America and the world's most precious commodity, the Jewish people. It was evident by people who were there, who came, as I said, from all over the country, who had only glowing things to say. I remember one fellow who said that he used to think that he was a part, different, that nobody would really care about whether or not he had any connection to his Judaism. But he said at Aura, he felt completely accepted, especially at this retreat where he was made to feel wonderful, uplifted, and a part of this great nation called Am Yisrael. He said that he had made 300 new friends and he was going back to tell his wife that she should come to the women's retreat or the next family retreat. Everyone there was uplifted and moved. But there's still a family here at the zone. And those of us who come from a community like Lakewood understand that we reach out, dig deeper, and reach higher to be the best that we possibly can be. Everybody walked away feeling connected. And during this time of three weeks where we mourn the destruction of the base of Migdash, of the temple, we realized that it was destroyed because of baseless hatred. And to counter that, we have to know that we have to exercise love for our fellow Jew. That's what Aura did, uh, an outpouring of love, affection, esteem, and respect, and unity. Aura did a phenomenal job. It was great to be part of it. Indeed, birds of a feather do flock together, and boy, did they help people spread their wings. This is Parents B. Eichler for TLS, Straight Talk America News on the Lakewood Scoop.